If you're looking to generate some AI art for free, then I highly recommend checking out bluewheel.ai. It is an amazing free alternative compared to Midjourney. Right now, everyone has unlimited attempts at creating their very own text-to-image art. In this video, I'll show you how to set up and get started. To set up your account, go ahead and go to bluewill.ai, click on join the beta. Once you sync your Discord account, if you don't have one, you can create one, um, and then click on accept invite, it's going to take you to their Discord. Once you accept that invite, Blue Willow is now a bot and then you can start using it with your Discord account. If you have never used Midjourney, it's actually the same as Blue Willow. The way it's set up down to the way you start creating your prompts is very similar. If you ever get lost, just go ahead and go to getting started here at the start here and you'll be able to see the step-by-step -step guides. So just kind of broken down for you in case you need it. The community here is just as awesome and I highly recommend for you to check out the different resources and different channels. A lot of showcases that you can check out as well. You can learn from other people, you connect with other people, and just start having fun. The community. To start creating your own art, you will need to scroll down and find a rookie channel. It's going to be called Rookie. So you can see Rookies 2, Rookies 3, and then there's a bunch of numbers at the end. You can pick any of them and just start. I'm going to click on rookie 27 and then in this chat bar, you're going to type in slash imagine and then your prompt. Now a prompt is a request. Whatever you want the image to be, you can type it in here. So let's say you want a picture of a girl, you can type that in. You want a picture of a dog, you can type that in. You can type in a painting of a house. Whatever it is that you want, you can start here. I'm going to go ahead and imagine a beach bungalow and then I can just press enter. Once you press enter, you're going to notice that a lot of things are being generated and it's going to be lost. Similar to Midjourney, you're going to go ahead and up to your inbox and you'll see it in your mentions up here. Click on jump and it'll take you to that post. And now you'll see there's different beach bungalows that has been created. Um, the user is interface is pretty much the same. You have your upsize boxes and then your version boxes or variations. Upsize means you want this image larger. So if you do like an image, I would upsize it and then you can start saving that. If you don't, then I would do it again. If you do like an image, but you find that something about it is off, I would go ahead and do the variation. So this is quadrant one, two, three, four. I'd really like this guy, but it does look a little bit old. So I'm going to click on this one to get a new variation. It generally takes about 30 seconds or so, but once it's ready, you're going to hear a Discord notification. Again, if you can't find it, you can always go up to your inbox and then you'll see the beach bungalows. So these are all the variations of that one that we had initially. I do like these double doors. I do like the sliding doors, double French doors here. I think this one has a cute little bed there. But overall, I think I like this blue one. This is the first one. And so I'm just going to go ahead and jump to that image again. And click on upsizing the first version. Once I upsize, I'm going to go to my inbox again, click on this image, and now I can start saving it to my computer. Let's build a character together. In your chat here, let's go ahead and type in slash imagine spacebar, and let's give this character a trait in terms of the subject. Is it a cat, a dog, gender? So let's do a dog reading a magazine in his home and press enter these are so adorable there are some things i do want to improve in terms of the dog breed and the color but this is a good start so i'm going to go ahead and add the dog breed and play around with the different backgrounds and settings and see what we can get so let's go ahead and do slash imagine and paste in the prompt. We're going to go ahead and put in a, maybe a chihuahua dog reading a magazine in his home kitchen. And we're going to give this a hyper detailed effect so that we can maybe get a little more detail. Press enter. All right, so these are some interesting ones. This dog's not really reading. This one has been having any material, but he's rather cute. Um, I can't tell if that's another arm, but that's okay. I think these are some really good photos to start off with. And now he will go back in and add maybe the color of the dog. I can add in a different setting 
perhaps. So let's try and do that. So this prompt is going to be small white chihuahua dog reading a magazine in home kitchen with black cabinets next to his dog bed. So there's only one photo that really looks good to me and this is the third one right here. He has his bed, the cabinet is white but that's okay. There's even a, uh, a plant here and the dog doesn't look too bad. I know the arm kind of looks janky and maybe a little bit cut off but it's better than losing your arm. So. Um, what I find with Blue Willow is that the more specific that you can get, the better. However, there are some different wordings. If you were to compare this with Mid Journey, I would definitely just learn how people here are utilizing their words and their prompts. So learning what works best for Blue Willow is going to help you really uh, gain insight at the start. And over time, this tool will actually get better. But for now, I find that just by tweaking it a little bit and adding the right words that you can learn from other people here, this type of imagery and type of learning, you can really build out a lot. We're gonna go ahead and do another one here and just paste in the, the prompt. A small white chihuahua reading a magazine in home kitchen with black cabinets next to his dog bed. Let's make this ultra detailed, ultra hyper detailed, uh, photo realistic, photo shoot, HD, and press enter to see if that improves the quality. They are getting cuter and cuter. I actually think this third one here works really well. He's reading some sort of magazine. I'm not sure if it's the kitchen, but it is actually better. Um, even the one who is right here, he has his bed in the magazine. Not totally reading, but it looks like he has a lot, some extra feet there. Definitely play around and be mindful that AI art still has issues in terms of fingers and feet and legs so if you're having extra long neck or something then just redo it go ahead and just redo it in the prompt until you get your desired results because this is unlimited you have unlimited possibilities right so let me know how it goes and if you have any questions leave me a comment down below thank you